So you want to get into analytics or data science but don't know where to begin? Do you feel like a young Jedi, unschooled in the ways of the Force? Well, you're in luck. You found your Yoda. I'm E.W. Halbert, the analytics dude, and I've helped countless others find their careers in these exciting new fields. So let's begin. The first thing to understand is that there are five different types of analyst jobs. Now, I've got to give you a caveat here. There are no hard and fast definitions for these terms. So oftentimes, the job duties are going to be more informative than the job title. And without further ado, job type number one, data science, sometimes referred to as modeling. In general, data science refers to making a mathematical model designed to predict the behavior or preferences of people or systems. This could be a credit risk model that prices out car loans. It could be what recommends movies to you on Netflix. Or it could be how you ended up on this video when you were just searching for funny cat videos. Data science is by far the most difficult analytics type job to qualify for. Typically, it requires a significant technical background, strong coding skills, and some business sense. Now, there are some computer languages and programs that are more useful than others to an aspiring data scientist. And I'll get into those in future videos on those specific languages and programs. Moving on to analytics job type number two, strategy. Strategy analysts use data to develop and improve the strategies and tactics used in business. Management consultants can sometimes fit into this category. Strategy analysts need to have strong business sense, sound statistical fundamentals, and typically are decent programmers in an analytical language. Now, if you're scared off about the idea of writing code, there are some new analytical programs that can get you around actually doing hard coding. I'll cover those in future videos as well. Analytics job type number three, reporting. Reporting and business intelligence are often the same thing. They create and report on the metrics on which the business is evaluated. Reporting is considered an analytics job because it takes analytical skills to determine how to create and measure key performance indicators, or KPIs, that are important to the business. It can also require coding skills, especially in a language like SQL, or SQL, to query databases to get the information for those reports. Analytics job type number four is what I'll refer to as execution. Execution analysts have a lot in common with project managers. They need to understand how the systems in the business work in order to actually implement changes. Execution is considered an analytics job because it requires in-depth analytical knowledge of how the systems interact. It often requires coding skills to write or change the production processes. It requires statistical knowledge because an execution analyst must understand the statistical basis and ramifications of the changes they are implementing. And finally, analytics job type number five, administration. Now, many companies refer to their database administrators as analysts. This is legit. They need to analyze whether or not the systems are able to handle all the processing required of them. They need to make sure that Kathy over across the hall is able to run an analysis on retail market data while you're over here building a machine learning model to predict the future prices of Klingon artifacts. Important stuff, I know. But in all seriousness, the best analysts in the world are unable to add value without access to the actual data. Now, data engineers, like the people who build the huge data structures capable of handling Walmart's daily transactions or processing advertisement recommendations in under 150 milliseconds, can be considered administration. I personally don't. I consider them to be data scientists, mostly due to the high technical ability required. But it's a bit of a gray area. Now, speaking of gray areas, not every company is going to have all five types. All five types of work need to be done, but they won't necessarily have five different titles or five different groups of people. Sometimes an analyst will handle two or even three of these different categories. But I felt the need to include all five because all five different types of jobs do exist. All five types of work do need to be done. If someone else has a better classification system, I would love to hear it. Comment below or come to my site, even send me an email. This was my attempt at making sure that I covered everything. Now, I came up with this classification for two main reasons. First, is to highlight the fact that there are lots of analytics jobs out there, and most of them don't require a PhD in statistics or computer science. Second, is to highlight the fact that a job title might not be able to tell you everything. You need to actually read the job description to see if it's for you. Ideally, you'll speak to people who work in that company, 
in that role or with that role in order to find out what it really involves. So if a job in analytics interests you, I encourage you to check out my complete guide to finding a job in analytics in the link below. It's got tons of useful information. Best of all, it's totally free. It goes over things like how to get experience without a formal role in analytics and how to interview in a way that puts you over the top. I think you'll like it. If you like this video, please hit like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. We have lots of upcoming videos, like I mentioned, on analytics programs and languages where we'll cover things like who should learn that language, what its advantages are, what its disadvantages are, how to learn it, what cheap or free resources are there available for you. So once again, I'm E.W. Hulbert, The Analytics Dude, and thanks for letting me be your guide into analytics. I hope to see you in future videos.